ED-201 cohort two was the second cohort of the pivotal study called ED-201 that evaluated the role of infortimab to dotin in a treatment refractory metastatic urethral cancer patients. Cohort one, which was the subject of FDA approval in December 2019, looked at infortimab to dotin in patients who progressed on prior uh, platinum-based chemotherapy as well as immunotherapy and led to accelerated approval, demonstrating a 45% objective response rate and durable responses. In this particular study, the specific question here was, what is the role of infortimab to dotin in patients who have previously received immunotherapy as their first-line standard of care and are cisplatin ineligible and therefore not eligible for further treatment with cisplatin and are now being considered with infortimab to dotin? And in this study, uh, 89 patients received at least one dose of study drug and demonstrated a 52% objective response rate and 20% of patients achieving a complete response. For those that were response evaluable also, um, uh, 88 percent of patients actually had a decrease in their tumor sh uh, tumors uh, from their baseline, uh, suggesting that there's a broad range of activity for this drug in these patients. The median duration of response was 10.9 months. Treatment was relatively well tolerated. We had, you know, four treatment-related deaths. However, uh, we're still trying to understand how those deaths occurred. The three of which occurred actually early in the course of treatment, uh, after uh, within the first 30 days. And it appears that high uh, 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 BMI and also older age and a lot of medical comorbidities were very common in these patients. Uh, and so therefore something that we need to understand better. But overall treatment was well tolerated uh, in, in the remaining um, uh, uh, 85 patients that were treated on this trial. So overall with the culmination and kind of the summary of all this data shows that EV is very active. We've known it to be quite active in advanced bladder cancer. And in particular patients who have previously received immunotherapy and are now progressing and in particular patients with liver metastases, where we saw a similar response rate in the range of 40 to 45% in patients who have uh, liver metastases as well. And we know that these patients have some of the worst prognoses. So overall, this drug is quite active and really supports the use of infortimab to do an advanced bladder.